Hi, Tom from King's Auto Repair. Um, coming to you today. Um, Dan here on a Jeep Wrangler. And it was setting oil pressure codes. And I just thought I want to show kind of what these uh, oil pumps are like in these vehicles. Um, a lot of times we get oil pressure codes from the from the sensors going bad, the coolers going bad and leaking and the sensors leak. But this one actually had a little bit deeper issues. Um, these actually, uh, we're going to put an oil pump in this and this is the oil pump right here. This is the oil pump. This is the chain that drives it. So it attaches on the bottom here. So you got to take the oil pan off and kind of put everything together. But oh, you get a little bit better view here. Kind of go sideways and switching hands and stuff. But the oil pump here is driven off the uh, crankshaft sprocket and comes down. And this is what they call a dual stage pump. You see these wires coming down here. This goes to a solenoid on the backside and it causes the pressure to increase or decrease when it actuates or lets go that solenoid. So what was happening with this is this one actually failed and was on the high pressure and was setting codes for oil pump problems. Now, it's not going to cause an issue with the vehicle at all for running or anything like that because this one failed in high pressure mode. It's more of a problem if they fail in low pressure mode that you're going to have uh, issues with these vehicles. So let me go over and kind of show you what the pump looks like when we get them. So kind of come over here to the bench and take a look at the pump. And here's our replacement pump straight from Mopar. As you see, it doesn't come with a gear on it. So we're going to basically take that off, swap the gear. And here's our solenoid in the back that actually actuates this oil pump and makes it work correctly. The This is like kind of one of the big issues with a lot of newer cars. They're putting electronics inside the engine now. This used to be 100% mechanical with no electronics in it. And now that they started putting electronics in them, we're starting to see failures like this that cause problems and all other kinds of issues down the road. Um, is there a way to avoid this? Not really, but it is increasing the daylights out of um, repairs on vehicles. And this is why engines have gotten so expensive to replace because they actually have electronics inside of them. Most of the stuff is electronically controlled anymore. And as this stuff gets older and fails, you end up having to do this kind of stuff because, well, the car won't run right. Um, your remote starts will stop working because it turns the check engine light on. All kinds of other little goofy things. So just that you kind of know like what's going on with some of these newer cars um, they're not as easy as what they used to be they're really got some goofy stuff going on inside of them now and when you get a price to fix these you know you you're getting prices for all these electronic pieces that are inside the engine it's not just mechanical anymore so that's why the prices of everything have been going up uh, we priced an engine the other day um, just the parts alone to do the engine in the and then it's an ls and a gm the parts alone are eight thousand dollars so uh, they got all this electronic stuff in them and you know they're going to build an engine they're not going to put the old electronics in it because they don't want to have to warranty them so um just kind of rolling the dice if you do so hope it gives you a little bit of insight um he like said Jeep Wranglers, any, anything with the 3.6 liter in has this dual stage pump and uh, you can get these codes that set. So if you need help with it, um, you know, or need somebody this is a little beyond your DIY, fix it yourself, you know, give us a call. We can help you out. Have a great day.